Hello and welcome to the ninth video in this beginner series, uh, making an application using Vue.js and Vuetify. So kicking directly off from where we left off in the last video, being able to select our nation and then view our list of top 10 players for that nation. What I'd like to do in this video is actually build up the table that displays some of the information of these players. So going into our API here, you remember we've got our API data, our object, I've got the top 10s. Here imagine I've selected Brazil. I've got a list of these 10 players and each of these players is an object with the same keys to be able to access various attributes of these players. So the name, the club, the photo, club logo, logo, etc. So when we look at the code then, imagine that we want to build up a table and display all of the players. We know that we can access the top 10 players by doing this, but what we need is some way of iterating through our list and being able to present each one of these players without having to code all this by hand inside here. And there's a very easy way to do this inside Beautify using something called a V4. So let's imagine I have a, a div here and inside my div, I want to, I want with my div, I want to print uh, a player. So I'm going to put a player on colon just like that to make it. We're going to change this to make a table anyway, but just, just for now. And what I want to do is I want this div for every one of my players in my list. So I can just simply say v4 is equal to, and I need to tell Vuetify what I want to be iterating. So in this case, obviously, I'm going to iterate my list of players. So just going back to my API, say I've selected Brazil, I want to iterate through each one of these objects here like so. And to do that, I tell v4, this is what I'm iterating, but I also, for each one of the objects that I get from my list, I need to assign that to a variable. So I'm going to say for player in this list, and in this case, I'm going to print then my player to the screen. So this player here is this actual player object here. And what's happening is, v4 will take the first object here and assign player equal to this object, Neymar. Then we'll print that player and then once the player has been printed, just going back to the code, so it will assign player to be Neymar, it will then print player and player or render it to the screen, so the player object will be rendered to the screen and then the div, this element is finished. So now v4 says, okay, now I'll go to the next player on the list and assign that object to player. So in this case, Tiago Silva will be assigned uh, to player and then we'll print player colon or render player colon and then render the player object and then finish the div element and go to the next one and so on. So we'll get 10 divs representing with each div representing the player object that we have. So if I just go back into the application here, empty cache hard reload, load data, and now select a nation, let's say Spain. And now you can see I get player De Gea, then player Sergio Ramos, and then player Tiago, etc., etc. And that's all done iterating each in its own separate div. If I just go into elements on the right hand side here, what you can see is, uh, just do select element, it's easy, I'll select this div here. You can see that I've got all of these divs, each of div representing one of the players, which is iterated out according to the objects in my player list. So that should be fairly straightforward to understand. So what I want to do instead of having a div is I actually want a table here and I want those to be rows of a table. So I hate tables with a passion, but in the case of actually having genuinely a table of numbers, it's probably the best way to go. So let's do this. Then the first thing I need to do is put a table row with my uh, table headers, the headers of my tables. So here I've got a table row and then I've got empty headers for three columns and then age and overall. And now what I want below here is another table row, but this time with some table data inside. So I'm just going to delete this. And the table row is what I want to repeat. So I want a row for each of the players in my table. So I'm going to copy this V4 from here and just paste this in here. And now delete my div that's below here because I don't need it anymore. And now I'll get a new table row for each one of my players. And now I can assign some table data. So I uh, just close this off, I get some table data and in here I can then print out the various attributes uh, of my player. So if I just go back into the API, I can have a quick look at actually what attributes I want. I want the photo, the club logo, the name, the overall and the age. 
So just going back into here, the first one I'm going to do then, I'm going to say I want the player dot uh, photo of the player. And then I'm going to copy these and paste them to save a little bit of time typing like so. So I'm going to have the uh, overall score and the key was overall and then the key was age. And then I'm going to have the club logo here, the name of the player here. And that's all I need to do. Now, for every one of the objects in my list, I'll then put some data out. Remember, the empty columns or span these first three with no header, and these two then should have the headers. And that'll be our table rendered to the screen. So I'll just go back to the application, refresh, load some data. Let's select, uh, let's select Brazil because we were looking at it. And now we get a table. It's not very well formatted, we'll worry about that later, but we get the link to the photo, the name Neymar, the link to the photo, age, and the overall score. The last thing I want to do just to complete this video, I'd like this photo actually to be rendered properly as a photo on the screen because it, it doesn't look good anyway, but it looks really bad with just the links. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to put uh, an image tag inside here. So inside this table data, I'm just going to put an image tag. And here what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to bind so, uh, this uh, source. So I'm going to use vbind. And then the source in this case is actually going to be the link that's provided by the player photo. And then the alternative, um, I'm just going to put, uh, I don't know, not found, something like this um, as the alternative. And that's actually all we need to do for the image. We can remove the rest of the stuff like this. And then I'm going to copy this to the club logo as well. So drop an image in here, copy the club logo and paste that, uh, sorry, delete that here. And now if I return to my application, at least I should have the photos loading up and things will look a little bit better, just like the console select my nation, select England in this case. And here you can see I've got the photos and the club logos now. At least our table is starting to take shape. Obviously it looks nothing like the original application or the end product that we want to reach. But we can now select whichever we want from the data in our API of the countries and view the relevant players from that particular country. So things have actually advanced quite quickly. And that's one of the really nice things about um, this framework view and Viewtify is you can very, very quickly get uh, apps uh, up and running and uh, uh, in a relatively short space of time. Okay then, so that's it then for this video. I hope it's made some kind of sense. Um, if it hasn't, any comments, feedback are always welcome. Uh, otherwise, see you in the next one.